Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna talk about gold and silver. While I perform a coin shop walkthrough and showcase items that we have in our display cases, I'm gonna discuss the gold and silver markets and how volatile they've been the last several weeks, what I see for the future with gold and silver, what customers are buying, what customers are selling, and what customers are saying in general too about how they feel about the metals markets and all the volatility we've experienced in the last several weeks. So we got a lot of information in this video coming up and there'll, be, there'll lots be lots of eye candy because we're gonna be featuring a lot of things that we have in our display cases now. We've purchased a lot of new things over the counter lately, so. But yeah, we got a good video in store for you today. Be sure to stick around. So let's talk about gold and silver. Wow, <laughs> what a ridiculous ride we've been on these last four to six weeks with metal prices spiking up high quickly and crashing down just as fast, if not quicker. So what does that mean? Boy, I wish I had all the answers. Obviously, I don't. But I will give you my opinion on what I think is going on. Uh, for starters, uh, if you don't already know, gold and silver are both manipulated metals. They're manipulated by big banks and organizations that own a lot of futures contracts and they can manipulate the price by longing and shorting the market to whatever benefits them at the time. That manipulation still exists. Uh, JP Morgan is one of the biggest culprits of that. In fact, Jamie Diamond, I believe he's the CEO of JP Morgan, has gotten into a lot of hot water over the last few years and they've paid billions of dollars in fines for breaking the law and doing unethical things. Uh, it all has to do, it boils down to metal manipulation. So. You know, while these metals continue to be manipulated, one thing that doesn't get taken into consideration is demand. You know, the, the general public, like you and I, those who buy silver from our local coin shop or from online dealers, we really should have a much, much bigger influence on the price of precious metals. It shouldn't be up to big banks to control it, but the fact of the matter is, right now they do, and they still do. So as long as the manipulation remains, you know, gold and silver won't be able to free float and be able to revalue where we all feel they should be, which is at a much higher rate than they are today. So as I film this, it's August 8th. It's a Thursday. It's hard to believe it's August already. And gold sits at $2,425 per ounce. Silver, on the other hand, sits at about $27.50. Per ounce. Silver took a massive drop of about four and a half dollars per ounce over the last several weeks. Uh, gold's down a bit as well, but to a lesser degree. I do talk about this a lot. One thing I pay attention to is the gold to silver ratio. And the gold to silver ratio right now, sorry, let me turn off my fan here. Probably making noise on the video. The gold to silver ratio is almost 90 to one, meaning it takes 90 ounces of silver, like these American silver eagles right here, to buy one ounce of gold, like that gold buffalo right there. So that's a number we haven't seen in a while, you know, approaching 90 to one. Uh, for the longest time, it was right around 80. In fact, it got below 80. It was 77 to one at one point, I believe. So what does that number mean? Well. If you've watched my channel, you've probably heard me explain it before, but I'll uh, break it down quickly. You know, for me personally, this is opinion, so take it for what it's worth. When the gold to silver ratio is relatively high, like it is right now, as I said, it's almost 90 to one, meaning the gold price spot price divided by the silver spot price equals almost 90. That means that gold is overvalued in relation to silver or silver is undervalued in relation to gold, or it's a combination of the two. There's really no other way to explain it. It's one of those three. So I, for one, believe silver is highly undervalued in relation to gold. So when that ratio gets high, like it is right now, close to 90 to one, I'm not buying any of this stuff here. Me personally, I'm not buying gold you know, near an all-time high, although it's, I believe it's going to go higher, absolutely. Is there going to be great opportunity to make money in gold? Absolutely. But because the ratio right now is so high at almost 90 to 1, I'm putting my money into silver. 
instead of the gold I'm showing you right now on camera. If I had to plan this video out a little better, I would have been showcasing silver while I'm talking about that. But gold is still very, very popular. In fact, we're selling quite a bit of gold still at uh, the prices that we have today, uh, which is, as I said, near an all-time high. But, you know, dollar for dollar, despite gold's popularity, we're still selling more silver. And mind you, it takes about 90 ounces of silver to equal the price of one ounce of gold. So ounces of silver are outselling gold probably 200 to one in my shop, maybe even more, maybe even 400 to one. I don't have the numbers to give you exact on that, but although we are moving quite a bit of gold, silver is the definite better seller right now. So I think a lot of customers understand that, um, not just necessarily from a uh, gold to silver ratio perspective that I just explained, but because silver fits the budgets of the masses. So more and more people can afford to buy silver than come and buy an ounce of gold, like in this fancy gold pyramid I, I featured on a video a while back. Let me zoom out here. So I'll talk about this just real quick. What this is, it's, well, that's the silver specs. I have this set up wrong here. Well, the gold specs, this is a set of 999 that exists. There's three different gold pyramidal coins from the Isle of Man. They're all proof 69 ultra cameos. There's a one ounce, a half ounce, and a one fifth ounce gold coin. And there's 999 in existence. And they come in this fancy gold pyramid, which folds shut. I know you can't tell on the video, but that's a really cool piece. I really like that. I'll probably never see another one like it in my life. So having said that, uh, we did buy a lot of gold today too. We bought uh, gold buffalo across the counter because there are people that are selling. You know, we bought this gold buffalo. We bought this $20 gold Liberty Head, double eagle. Uh, we bought all these. These are unusual. These are gold coins and little books from the 1970s. And as you would expect, they have that musty smell from the 1970s. But this, for instance, is you know, 6.21 grams of 50% fine gold. This is, whoop, let's zoom out here. You know, 8.16 grams of 90% fine gold. Here's another one that's 90% gold, 90% gold. Yeah, weird stuff, but customer came in and brought these in today probably to cash in on the high price of gold. And well, we bought them. So if you like stuff like that, we have it. But <clears throat> let's get back to talking about silver because that's what most people are asking for in the shop. That's what most people want to buy. And like I said, not just because of the gold to silver ratio in their mind is advantageous to buy silver now, but I think it's for monetary reasons. Uh, like I said, you can get 90 ounces of silver for the cost of one ounce of gold right now. and Boy, you walk out with 90 ounces of silver, it feels like you really have something of value and substance because it's heavy, you know, compared to walking out with a one ounce gold coin in your pocket. So gold has been selling well. In fact, we had a flash sale earlier this week. Uh, for those of you who took advantage of it, thank you. Uh, it was our busiest flash sale day ever. We had over 100 transactions that day. And uh, I'm still kind of old school. I'm working on getting an automated system or a computerized system for sales, but I handwrite all of the sales tickets. So yeah, it was a busy day handwriting sales tickets that day. So, but uh, <clears throat> as I said, silver still is the most preferred metal that we're selling, not just from an ounce perspective, of course, but a dollar perspective as well. So uh, what I hear from a lot of customers, um, not necessarily, concern. Well, maybe concern is the right word. There's a lot of customers that are concerned about world events and what's going on right now. I've had a lot of new customers coming in that are pulling money, cash, I should say, from banks to put into precious metal. Most are opting to buy silver. So is it a good investment? Well, I believe so. And I don't just say that because I sell it. I buy it in my personal life and stack it in my personal life as well. But, you know, you got to make sure you look at it as a long-term investment. You're not going to get rich quick with silver, although you could if uh, there's a World War III type scenario or there's some type of, you know, global event that we're not expecting. Uh, metals become a safe haven. A lot of people rush in and prices tend to go up then. 
that's when you could flip for you know quick profits but nobody wishes for chaos i've always said that you should prepare for the worst but pray it doesn't happen so that's why i buy precious metal to be prepared for the worst but i hope it doesn't happen you know i don't want to have to barter with my silver bars i don't want to have to go buy groceries with you know silver dimes or silver quarters but you know what if i have to i'm prepared at least so I take comfort in that. I can sleep at night <laughs> knowing that. So, But uh, there are a lot of customers that are just concerned about what's going on in the world. And I think rightfully so. And I've touched on it in previous videos. I think the next couple of months leading up to our presidential election, we're going to see a lot, a lot of volatility in metals. Um, and we've seen it already just these past couple of weeks. You know, Biden drops out of the race. Uh, Harris gets anointed without uh, due democratic process uh, as the nominee. Boy, we've seen chaos, not just in metals markets, but cryptocurrencies, uh, stock markets, not just here at home, but globally. You gotta look at uh, war in the Middle East. There, that's a factor, uh, the war with Russia and Ukraine. There's just a lot, a lot of stuff going on, which makes me believe, and my customers that I talk to about it believe more and more, that metals is gonna be a good place to have that extra cash. Now notice that I said extra cash. <laughs> Nobody's encouraging anybody to overextend themselves and to put more cash than they can afford into precious metal. You still have to have cash for daily expenses to pay that mortgage, to pay that insurance bill, to buy groceries, to buy medicine. So, you know, to pay for you, your utilities. <laughs> so. Do your best not to get in a situation where you recklessly spend too much on precious metal or anything for that matter, and then have to liquidate it at some point for a loss because nobody wants that to happen to anybody. So, but as I said, uh, there are great opportunities in metals. Uh, if you look at it, it's a long-term investment and a long-term gain. And uh, if you don't look at it that way, I fear you might be setting yourself up for disappointment <laughs> because like I said, unless there's a catastrophic event, you know, metals don't move quickly generally. Um, and in times of crisis, gold and silver do tend to go up. So there again, you know, prepare for the worst, but pray it doesn't happen kind of thing. So uh, what else do we need to talk about? Oh, uh, you know, we can talk about price predictions. I don't get into predicting price. Uh, but that's one of the questions I get the most in the shop. You know, where do I feel the price is going to be at the end of the year? Or if I buy this today, what will you buy it back for a year from now? Well, those are questions I really can't answer. But based on everything I've told you, based on current gold to silver ratio of almost 90 to 1, I believe the future for silver is good. I believe that wholeheartedly. Uh, I'm putting my investable income into silver. I'm not buying any gold right now. And there again, I'm not trying to talk anybody out of buying gold because gold will have its day in the sun as well. But silver for me is an opportunistic metal because although premiums are starting to creep up a bit now because we saw this price crash, whoops, it's still very cheap when compared to gold because you just have to examine, as I said, that ratio of almost 90 to one. So drop it down in the comments. Uh, what's your favorite metal to stack? I'm guessing most people that watch these type of channels like to stack silver. I'd say that's much more popular in people's portfolios than gold, uh, just from a financial standpoint and a, you know, a cost basis. So um, let's do one more thing. You know, if you watch this channel frequently, and I hope you do, uh, if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so because that does help channels like mine get out to everybody, get out to more people. The YouTube algorithm picks it up and notices that, oh, somebody commented or somebody subscribed, somebody liked this. We're going to put that out there because it's popular. That helps get more information in videos like this out to more people. So, but as I was saying, if you do watch my videos and you know about our flash sales, what type of item do you want to see on flash sale next week? I kind of stacked my last two flash sales on a Thursday, and then I had another one the following Monday. So I had a boom, boom. Now I'm not going to have one till next week. That'll be the week of, let's see, it'd be August 12th, I believe. But what do you want to see on flash sale? 
Tell me some specific things down in the comments. Do you want one ounce silver Canadian maple leaves? So should we do a flash sale on silver eagles? How about five ounce bars or 10 ounce bars? Those are things we haven't done in a while for flash sale. So let me know down in the comments, what do you wanna see on flash sale? And as I said, uh, feel free to share this video, give it a like, and uh, if you'd be so kind, if you're not already, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you a thing. And as I said, it helps get this video out to more and more people so they can uh, learn the information and hopefully take advantage of some great sales that we have coming up through this channel as well. But I appreciate you all tuning in. Thank you so much. Have a great day.